Hi guys, it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, I do mean over the top beautiful. It is the last day of spring. It is a Monday morning here in the end times in paradise at J Jugs in a Bar Farm. Jugs in a Bar. Uh, so this is your old organic flower farmer coming to uh, see how his garden is growing on the last day of spring. So uh, I guess I give myself a, what, about a D minus. Uh, so this was, this bed is, I planted these beds, what, close, right about a month ago. Uh, between three and four weeks ago, this is mostly the sunflower bed. I uh, planted about a hundred different, so this is sunflowers and castor beans. Uh, planted about a month ago, 100% crop failure. Not one single sunflower has sprouted in almost a month. Uh, I'm quite sure all of the seeds are rotten. Now there is a chance that they did sprout. <clears throat> and as soon as they emerge from the ground, the goddamn slugs got them. I'm not 100% sure about that. The uh, Looks like I'm doing pretty good on the hyacinth runner beans. The hyacinth beans, they, they are a success. Uh, so we got, we're doing good on hyacinth beans. 100% failure on sunflowers and castor beans. <clears throat> Give myself an F on them. <clears throat> so these tomato plants are looking gorgeous, but the basil in between the tomato plants are uh, pretty much a 100% failure. <coughs> now basil told me that, I think basil told me <coughs> that the slugs ate his basil, so I don't know. We could be looking at a, uh, a slug issue, not sure but we have a 100% failure on the basil crop. Yes, 100% failure on the sunflowers, the castor beans, the basil. I don't even know what the hell this is. Uh, whatever it is. Uh, Whatever this was, 100% failure. Um, them, the mystery flower, 100% failure. Now look at these taters. And the taters are going gangbusters. Good Lord, I stuck these little pieces of potato in the ground a month ago. These things are, good God, they're already starting to get flower buds on them. These potatoes are like 12 to 16 inches high already. And it's a fine year for potatoes. Okay, the zinnias. Get all zinnias. Three kinds of zinnias. 100% uh, failure on the zinnias. 100% failure on the zinnias. 100% failure on the castor beans. 100% failure on the sunflowers. Oh, I know what that was. Was bachelor buttons. 100% failure. Now the hollyhocks are actually uh, we're doing pretty good on the on the baby hollyhocks. These are two-year plants. <clears throat> So the hollyhocks are looking good. These are the gladiolus. Now these are bulbs, not seeds. So uh, 
we have 100% success on the gladiolas and these are dahlias which are kind of bulbs three out of four here's one the fourth one is finally emerging so it looks like all four of my dahlias survived but it's a good thing I'm not uh, trying to make money you know I was gonna have I was gonna grow these till they were you know like six or seven inches tall then transplant them I was gonna have like uh, what is that like 60 or 70 zinnias 60 or 70 sunflowers about 20 castor beans uh, about 10 or 12 basil plants complete total failure oh well I have enough on my docket so I just found a bunch of these canna lilies canna lily bulbs I brought up with me from Florida I just now found them yesterday these 16 canna bulbs so trying to plant them on June 20th all right the wildflower garden this is the great well I this is a mix of wildflowers and summer annuals uh, I do see some zinnias in here. I see one cosmos, one cosmos, and a few zinnias. I give myself about, I'll just give myself a D plus on the wildflower garden. I have no idea what's going on. But uh, probably because I think it was in the 30s last night, this has been generally speaking the coldest spring and I don't know how long with a few weather whiplash 90 plus degree days in between the 30 something degree nights could have something to do with the uh, abject failure of the uh... but I planted this little dog seed planted that little dog seed and look what it's turned into now so in another month I planted this little puppy. Another month, he should be a full-grown golden retriever. What do you think? Are you going to be a full-grown golden retriever in about another month? You get that bug like that. Get that bug like that. Alright, i got to get to planting these canna bulbs, say, six weeks too late. There's no way I'm going to get any blooms off of these before uh, frost. And anyway, it is a fine day for futility gardening. I highly suggest you get out there and do your futile garden while you still can. Man, is it gorgeous out here. My guys.